Well, I didn't know that. Hi. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, Sweet pea. Sweet pea, that was Sweet it. Pea. <laughs> Sweet pea. You have it all on tape now. What's your other nickname? I told them that. Yeah. Kids don't know it, but they don't. Can I tell the kids? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's yeah, build yeah, the drama. Yeah. She can tell you guys, but you It know, may slip sometimes anyway. I did say it yesterday, but you kids missed it. Oh, yeah. I know what it is. No. no. Not even close. You'd never guess it in a million years. No, you won't guess it. Unless it's you knew it, you'd never guess it. You wouldn't it. guess it. Okay, tell us. His grandma named him that, and it stopped from when he was a baby. Jupes. And we used to call So much for the building the drama. Yeah, she used to call him <laughs> Jeppy Jupy, and that's how we got Jupes out of it. All on tape. This could be better. All on tape. You and that tape. It's now the next morning, which is Sunday morning. We're just about to set off in our day. It's about 8 o'clock, right off. It's about what? 8 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 7.45. Well, it's supposed to be. We're just about to leave. We're going to the Holocaust Museum, the um, Arlington National Cemetery, and whatever. Say hi, Danny. No, Joe, you can't. Go away. Anyway. Anyway. We'll check back when we're in Arlington. Say bye, Josh. So you're gonna waste well, like he's all your time. Well, anyway, here we are at the subway. And the hotel is over there. Just walk all the way over here. And we're gonna get our fast cars right here. And then we're going to get on the subway and we're going to go up that way, up into the subway. And we're going to take that to see all the other sites, right, Sarah? What? Right, Sarah? Yes. Here we are at the Metro Rail thing. We're waiting for the Metro Rail. I'm going to be coming from that direction over there. The inside rail? This is fun. We are like inside the Metro Rail. What is that? I have no idea. I don't know, we get a picture of it. We'll figure it out later. What? Zoom in on it. Oh, we're getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in front of the white house. That's like the liable box. The giant. Right. Is. Oh. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> Go away! No. Yes. Come on. 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 Come on.
Let's be honest about this. Guys, all the way up there. Your person is up here. Yeah, Mr. Abram. Okay, you need to stay with. Who are you with, Jack? Mr. Abram. Okay. Sweet Pea, you're with Sweet Pea. Yeah. Uh, so how are you enjoying your Washington? It's fun. Everything's so cute. How cute, Brianna? Hey, Brianna. How cute. <laughs> Oh, super What's new? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing new here. Oh, the sun and moon. So we're here at Arlington and we're gonna go see some graves and stuff and we have to be really quiet because there's people like Stream. I'm on, this little trolley Come on, thing. I thought you guys liked it in the back. No, it's not. Hey, Joe, hi. Hi, Joe. How's Joe's camera? Anyway, we're on this little trolley thing. It's going to take us around the cemetery scene. See all the graves. And the dead people. See all the graves? It's pretty. Well, let's head back to the room and see some graves. Take a picture of you taking it. Right here, right here. This is your driver, Ron. First stop will be at the Kennedy Gravesteins in the side of the eternal flame. Second stop will be at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Mom. The change of the guard ceremonies take place every half hour, top and bottom of the hour. Final stop is up at Arlington House, then the buses bring it back down here to the visitor center. Oh, poor little bus thingy. Oh, it ruined my picture. Mom. And I have the camera on. Now, while you're in the trouble booth, please remain seated at all times. There is no standing at any time. If you're going to take a picture of something, please do not lean out of the windows. As you just saw and as you will see, we get very close to other objects in the cemetery. So please make sure your heads, arms, cameras, elbows, children, and other video equipment all stay inside the tram. Here at Turmobile Sightseeing, we would like for you to return to respective states, respective countries, carrying all parts of your person with you. Women's then walk on the cemetery grounds, please refrain from eating, drinking, smoking, and even gum chewing. Put your cigarette song. out. The only acceptable beverage on the cemetery grounds is that of bottled water. Now on behalf of the United States Army, the National Park Service, and Turmobile Sightseeing, we would like to welcome you to Arlington National Cemetery. For over a hundred years, Arlington that? National Cemetery has come to be the final resting place for many of American heroes. Some are known to many, some are known to few, yet some remain only known to God. 
Now, if you look to your left and right hand sides, you'll see some of their headstones. Look to your left. You'll see that all the headstones are different sizes, are different size, shape, and color. In 1947, the Fine Arts Commission ruled that all privately commissioned headstones in Arlington National Cemetery could be designed by the family at their will following certain guidelines. But those headstones had to be placed in the older, already existing sections of Arlington. Look to your right. You will see that all the headstones are alike in size, shape, and color. These are government-issued headstones. Where you see large sections of government-issued headstones, these are all newer sections of Arlington. Now, after graduating from Harvard, he joined the Navy. He became the lieutenant of the PT-109. The PT-109 was rammed by a Japanese destroyer in the Pacific. John F. Kennedy led the survivors of the PT-109 to safety. For his actions, he received the Purple Heart. In 1955, while recuperating from back surgery, John F. Kennedy wrote his autobiography, Profiles in Courage. In 1957, Profiles in Courage won the Pulitzer Prize in the Autobiography Biography category. Where is the Kennedy one? We'll get to it. Mrs. Oh, Marshman, where's the Kennedy one? We're not there yet. Now, buried alongside John F. Kennedy is his wife, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, as well as two predeceased children. Not far from the Kennedy grave site, there is a white wooden cross, the only white wooden cross here in Arlington National Cemetery. The white wooden cross is a final resting place of Robert Francis Kennedy, his younger brother. Robert Francis Kennedy had been Attorney General during his brother's administration. He had also been a campaign manager. Robert F. Kennedy was assassinated June 6, 1968, in Los Angeles, just after winning the California Democratic primaries. More. <laughs> Now, when you're at the Kennedy grave site, the field stones which lead up to the site, those were all brought from New England. The grass which surrounds the grave site is called sedum grass. That was also brought from New England. inscriptions and dates. Now on the front of the headstone is always the person who served in the military. On the back of the headstone is the spouse and the children, up to four children under 21. Now the spouse and children are placed on the back of the headstone so as not to take away from the accomplishments of the person who served in the military. Now that was not always so. It used to be that spouses and children used to get their own headstones. After John F. Kennedy was buried here in 1963, um, of course, to be buried in Arlington just shot up. So in some sections of the cemetery, you will see spouses and children have each individual headstones. In other sections, you will see that they're all buried in one line on top of, e on top of each other. Six, heads, six coffins at once can fit stacked on top of each other. We're almost to the candy grave sites. As you turn the corner on your right-hand side, there'll be a very large headstone. You'll see that it has two benches on both sides. Yeah, now, buried behind that, you know, um, first of all, on the headstone, you'll read Weeks in the center. Weeks was a former Secretary of State. Behind him are where many Supreme Court justices are buried. Now, the second headstone back from that is a black headstone. It reads Thurgood Marshall. There's Weeks, Thurgood Marshall, second one back. What? Now, to get to the candy grave site, the eternal flame, follow these field stones. They go up in a circle all the way to the top. Now, from here, it looks like you can walk up to Arlington House. It's quite a walk. Remember, that's the third stop on your ticket. Don't try and do it. And the walk actually takes you up the hill, out past the house, and then loops you back around. So from here, board back here. Buses will take you from here to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, then up to Arlington House. Where's the Kennedy's grave? Where's the Kennedy's grave? We have to walk up to it. Buses come every 15 minutes at this stop.
some pictures of it before. Now we're going to go from here. We're going to go to the um, Smithsonian. So we'll check back with you then. Okay. She taped, like huh? she taped all the news things. She taped all the news things. It was like 14, I think. So it was like, you know, that was like the title. Everybody? Uh, uh, everybody get with your adult.
the tomb has been called these names. Um, oh yeah. Although the tomb has been called these names, it has never officially been named. On March 4, 1921, Congress approved the burial of an unidentified American soldier from World War I in the plaza of the New Memorial Amphitheater. Later, on October 24, 1921, U.S. Army Sergeant Edward F. Younger selected the unknown soldier of World War I out of the four that there were. After that, the unknown soldier was transported to the United States on the USS Olympia. Yeah, Olympia. The other three soldiers were transferred to Moise Argani Cemetery in France. The tomb sarcophagus is made of white marble and has a flat face form except for the columns set into the surface on the corners and edges. Inscribed on the east panel, which faces Washington, D.C., are three Greek figures representing peace, victory, and valor. Inscribed on the back of the tomb are the words, Here rest in honor, glory, an American soldier known but to God. The tomb sarcophagus was placed above the grave of the unknown soldier of World War I. West of the World War I unknown are the crypts of the unknowns from the World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War. These three graves are marked with white marble slabs. On August 3, 1956, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed a bill to select and pay tribute to the unknowns of World War II and Korea. The selection ceremonies and interments of these unknowns took place in 1958. The World War II unknown was selected from remains from cemeteries in Europe, Africa, Hawaii, and the Philippines. There were two unknowns of World War II, so William R. Char Chariot, or Chariot selected the unknown soldier of World War II. The remaining casket was given a solemn burial at sea aboard the USS Canberra. Also, at the same time, four unknown Americans who died in the Korean War were taken from the National Cemetery of the Pacific in Hawaii. Army Master Sergeant Ned Lyle made the final selection. Both caskets arrived in Washington, D.C. May 28, 1958. Two days later, they were carried to Arlington National Cemetery, where President Eisenhower awarded them the Medal of Honor. The unknown service member from the Vietnam War was chosen by Medal of Honor recipient. Alisa! This is where we're spending the this is where we're eating today. Oh, April. Oh, thank you, Trey. Thank you so much. The Holocaust Museum is about is um, Jews being taken into German concentration camps by the Nazis and um, the Nazis forced their way into Jews' homes and forced them out and like in Daniel's case, they forced them to live in ghettos. Then they sent them to concentration camps afterwards, and most, a majority of the people that went to the Jews that went to the concentration camps um, were killed by the Nazis. And um, all the pictures that are inside the Holocaust Museum that we didn't, that we didn't get to see are very graphic and detailed. And here we are at the Smithsonian. There's a plane inside. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's switch. Okay. Okay. The Wrights Brothers playing. Yes. In the United States. Then.
Oh, we've got your left hand side. It's coated with something. Oh, I see. I touched a piece of the moon. Can't be claustrophobic. <laughs> so, that's the say something? This is Sunday night and the boys will be going to bed early because they're dragging today.
I find Hollywood, Washington, D.C. the Washington Monument, and Paul's about to take a picture of us. <laughs> Look, see, there's the monument right there. See, see hi, Heather. See, there's the monument. See, Look. And you know what's directly behind us? The U.S. Senate. Look at that, is that a man, yeah? There we go. I'm not going up. I've already predetermined pre that because I don't want to. And, you know, I'm a whistle, so I'm not going up. Mrs. Harshman's going to stay down with me. Okay, here we are, and no one's going up anyways because guess what? It's closed. It's like locked up everywhere, see? No one's going in, so I'm like happy. So no one knows I'm a wussy. Are you filming? Yeah. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Okay. We're going around the other side. United States Park Police? Park Police. Uh oh. They can show me what's going on. Park House must be one of the only Oh. 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 Because we call. A lot of interior work, and we need to see it done, and a lot of water damage. There's a lot of cracks in Well, we called, and they said. You follow the graph. There's the monument. And there's our one. There's Mrs. John Stein. The name's Neil. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I wish. That'd be awesome. Yeah, you'd be flipping and jumping off the monument. I would. I'd be like spinning a million miles an hour, dodging bullets. Well, I'm gonna there'd be a good racing machine song for it. Do we just like have this little bag? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you look in stairs, it looks like it's yeah. 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 Yeah.
Let's go fly. Come here, I want to kiss the camera. I won't really kiss it though. Yeah, I will. Are you laughing? Stop. No, she stopped snapped her bra. Oh, I'm gonna die. Stop that. Stop. I can do it. Is it that together? Really bad. Keep it together. Stop that. Stop it. Lisa goes, comes up behind her. That is not that is not that is not the White House. That is the Abraham Lincoln Memorial. That White House. You can call it the Abraham. Have you ever seen a nickel? Yeah, I know Abraham Lincoln's big statue is sitting there. Hey Josh. All right, my ear. Don't put it in the back. Matthew Curtis. Matthew Curtis. Is that your middle name? Because no. I have a friend. It's Matthew Yates. Peter Matt. Matthew what? Yates. James. James. Yates. Sorry. It's Yates. Okay. And so ends the filmings of our lives in Washington, D.C. Brianna is learning quick. Yeah. <laughs> I have like this oh. magnet like right oh, here that oh, everybody just wants to attack. It's a bag. Get get grass. Yeah. Yes. Roll him. Let's roll him. Yeah, pull him. Pull him. Get it. Get, let him get grass. <laughs> Push him. Don't do it seriously. Okay, like Matt, pull him. Grass pull him, Matt. Oh. Now I got grass stains to top it off. Stop. Pull him, Matt. Weird? No, you gotta hear this. Okay, so today I got all the things. I go. I got all the colors of the rainbow except for green. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, you need a little bit more. Shut up, Kai. I'm going to start throwing out punches, especially to Kai. <laughs> well, I've got it all on film, so just try. I both your punches. Josh! I weigh too much. I'll grab one arm, you grab the other. Okay, I got it all on film. Are you gonna grab his other arm? Oh, move! That was my fanny pack, dude. Do not kick my stuff. They're artificial. Kmart, right? Yeah, they're artificial. Your balls? Don't, Kai. I'm not afraid of you. Talking. Then why are you running away? Hold these, Joe. Kai. Why are you running away? I'm not running away, but I'm on a hill. You're going like this. Don't let him move. Don't move. Don't move. I might be able to get him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like messing around. Oh, yeah. Hey, I got oh. another one. You know how there's a regular oh, punch? Josh? I do this to Matt because I don't think it hurts. Mr. Abrams, you don't have to carry my bag. No, I wasn't. It was Did a picture? I really want okay. to Josh Martin, okay. Oh, you oh, stink. It was brand new. I know I threw him at me. Watch it. Abe's little cavern thing is going to fall down. And then Abe
Josh Martin just kissed Brianna. Shut up. Uh-uh. Right it's a liar. Here. Oh. You scared me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they've got lights on them. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll say it Yeah. Yeah, sounds like him. Five seconds of what? Picking his Picking nose. I'll do it. Guys if nose. you give me some money. Somebody gives me money, I'll do it. Beep. Beep. I've been achieved. Hi. Why isn't Matt hanging out with us? Where'd he go? He doesn't like us. See, we're going. Oh. I don't Not even really. know where he is. Oh, he's way back there. Matt, babe! 